This is the example file for OpenFab. User will see the polygons in this Rhino file and the corresponding grasshopper setup. Two initialization methods, distance field and boundary field, are presented. A variation tool will be introduced after these two methods. Let's take a look at the first initialization component, distance field, and check the parameter input. T size is the size of the triangle face. It controls the resolution of the computation. Users can preview the density of the mesh faces here. Step Lens is another resolution control. It controls the streamlined growing lens in each step. Users can see the difference by exploding the streamlines to check the number of vertices. Spacing is used to control the gap of streamlines. Interaction is related to smoothness. By increasing the interaction value, the streamlines start to be smoother. Users are able to preview the vector field and observe the changes. If singularity exists, it will also be stored. Let's take a look at another initialization component, boundary field. Some of the parameters are the same. The newly added parameter weight is to control the influence of the boundary constraint. By reducing the weight, the streamline results will become less perpendicular to the boundary edges. Additionally, user can input multiple extra constraints. Reminder, the number of extra constraint inputs and the extra weight should match. New constraints will affect the vector field computation and the streamline result. Seed is to save the state of randomness so that the user can reproduce the result. In the evaluation component, user will be able to check the evaluation score for streamlines, segments, or coast polygons, including continuity, divergence, perpendicularity, parallelism, and convexity.